Uh huh. Simple. So everything is clear now, and I'm eager to go to the under cellars, see if Saravox there. If you wish. If not, the assassins he he hired should uh. still be there. But what do you want? Before we go there, there is one last thing to do, and that is to investigate the it. flaming fist. Although we could ignore that part, I believe, but uh, we'll be missing on quite venturing. a good part of the story. So if you wish. let us go. Hello. Have you heard of this new guy who's moved to the gate? Saravox's name, and he's really popular with the nobles. From what I hear, he's part of the Iron Throne, and there are a bunch of snakes. Speak up, speak up. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. So that's all that people seems to seem to be talking about these days. Mm -hmm. mm, sorry. So, to the flaming fist. We might have to kill every flaming fist in existence go through there, but if that's what it takes, we'll do it. Mm, bother and bother, never a calm spot. Never I'd love break. to stay and chit-chat the day away, but I'll lose my youthful exuberance if I miss lunch. <laughs> uh, yes, all the fat people in Baller's Gate always say something about food. Mm, bother and bother, never a calm I may spot. be a touch overweight, never but you're a little more than a pointed stick. Careful if I don't lodge you somewhere. Such boorish manner, it's nearly enough to put a person off her food. Nearly. Oh, I can't get enough of these. I'm afraid I have little, very little information for you, though we must do lunch sometime. I don't know why we haven't before. <laughs> anyway. The fat men have other similar dialogue. I might have already gone through yes, these, but yeah, yeah. anyway. I will again, it's just too fun. Why has been getting prickly on me eyes? I'm not fat, I'm big boned. Enormously boned, actually. Fantastically huge bones, the likes of which has never been seen before in creatures without a trunk or a blowhole. Yeah, yeah. I wish I could help you, friend, but I've not been able to collect my thoughts since I missed breakfast this morning. Practically wasting away, I am. Away with you, or the gar will have boiled you in oil. Or perhaps fricasseed in oil with a lovely salmon white wine sauce and those little bread sticks that are just so good. Yum. What? Mm. Let's talk a little more with Can the ladies. I, you? I think Saravar could make the best repla the best replacement to Antar as Grand Duke. He seems like he's he's got locks locked up in that noodle of his. <clears throat> yes, indeed, he seems quite smart. Can I assist you? Salutations. I don't know which was worse, the supposed threat of bandits and iron shortages, or the real threat of war with Am. Salutations. You need a new tailor. Your clothes are absolutely dreadful. Ah, oh, this one has a name. Kala. Such insolence. His popularity may be soaring, but I'll not, cast, I'll not cast a vote for a loud such as he. The nerve of the man. What is your trouble? If it is any of your concern, I am simply furious at that Saravok man. I did not raise a fortune in the city by letting such as he stroll off with my assets. I've had dealings with the Iron Throne Mercantile Group for some time now. And though I did not approve of their other ventures, they were at least honorable business people in their contracts with me. Now that Saravok leads them, he has all but declared my previous deals null and void. You will get no sympathy from me if you lost gold dealing with a group like the Iron Throne. If I were not already incensed at Saravok, I would stop to tear a, to tear a strip off of you too. As it is, I must speak with the Grand Dukes about Saravok's conduct. Ahem, <coughs> lady. The Grand Dukes are all dead. Imagine! He secures himself as leader of the Iron Throne, and then all but destroys its mercantile credibility by practically sacking it. He may be bolstering the city with his assets, 
but it is still unprofessional. Something strange is going on at Iron Throne building, I tell you. I know their previous leadership was killed, but those members remaining would still never let such treatment come to pass. Not willingly, anyway. Well, I wish you luck talking with the Dukes. <clears throat> Seeing as they are all in their graves now. Well, one is sick. I guess that's always that. Oh no, flaming fist. I serve the flaming fist! Halt and halt! You stand accused of murder most foul. You will lay down your arms and come with us. Or by order of Angelo Dawson, you will be killed where you stand. Such is his order, and I cannot alter it. It is your choice. I am innocent and I shall not submit myself to the judgment of this Angelo. Scar is your proper superior. That may be so, but Scar is dead and Angelo is his proper replacement. We in the ranks have no other choice but to obey his orders, suspect though they may be. You must decide, submit and face judgment or fight here and die. I have no choice but you do. If we fought here, the Flaming Fist would lose, but um, we would also drop to reputation one. <clears throat> so I guess I will go with them. It is interesting to note that the Flaming Fist seem to be uh, considering Angelo's order suspect, so they do not trust him. I have no wish to fight you. I am no murderer, and I welcome the chance to prove it. A wise decision. You will have a fair chance to defend yourself, regardless of how convinced of your guilt Angelo is. This way. So, these are the infamous murderers, finally brought to justice. I am Angelo, commander of the Flaming Fist. I will be your judge, jury, and executioner, please pardon the cliché. Here there are a couple of replies. Um, you can be pathetic. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Um, you can downright insult him. A lo call him a lobotomized gibberling? That would not be too smart, because uh, he can just outright kill one of your party members. Here, I believe, if you have Chartil in the party, from what I've read, uh, he will let you go, because he is his father. Or his brother? I think his father. Yeah, yeah, Chartil is his daughter, so... Unfortunately, we do not have Chartil in the party. So, let's try to defend ourselves. Hey, come on now, we all know that you're in the employ of Saravok. We'll pay you more if you let us go. Addressing the greed in my soul. An admirable try, but destined to fail. I am not stupid enough to cross one such as Saravok. I reserve that stupidity all to you. Now that we are done with all of those pleasantries, I thought it was supposed to be a trial. Anyway, I will make my decision. I had thought hard and long on what sentence I should give if you should be delivered into my hands. The choice is an obvious one. For the charge of murder, theft, arson, rape, and many other assorted crimes, I declare that each of you shall be taken to the bazaar where you shall hang by the neck until you are dead. Huh? Lovely. And in the meantime, we uh -huh. will rot in a prison it is done. cell. Actually, they were kind enough to uh, let the door open. At least the door of our cell. And also the door of another prisoner. Since we have absolutely nothing better to do right now, let's talk to him. Useful gadgets I have. Yes, I do. Hey, you guys. Yeah, you in the other cell. Are you the group that's wanted for murder on three different counts? Don't try to deny it. I know it's you. Well, <laughs> my name's Neb. So, why are you in prison, Neb? <laughs> I killed some little street urchins. They're such a clutter to this city, you know. They scream good too, especially the little girls. So, Neb, do you think what's been go do you know what's been going on in the city lately? Oh yeah, lots of stuff. You know about Duke Elton, don't you? He's been diseased. 
That's why Angelo's in charge now. It would have been Scar, but he went out and got assassinated. <laughs> yeah, the city's gone downhill over the last week. Too bad. Oh, that guy, that guy is a proper monster. Were I a paladin, I, paladin, I would either uh, kill him or refuse Useful to do any more business I with have. him. Yes, I do. But I don't really care. And I'll keep pestering him until he reveals any more inf important information. 